Hey everybody, Coco here, and today I'm going to show you how to do Princess Bubblegum's makeup from Adventure Time. So first, I started with nothing on my face, no foundation, no primer, nothing. And I'm going to take a purple glue stick and go over my eyebrows just to help mask them. Now I'm taking a white or translucent powder over my eyebrows. And then just taking even more of that glue, use a lot, and use a lot of the translucent powder because that's really going to help cover it up. You can see it can use a lot because I have some fallout there. Now I'm just wiping all of that away. And I made a foundation using fake blood and a white cream paint that I got from Halloween. So you can use other things because I'm sure using fake blood isn't the best, but it was the only red I had. So I worked with it and it worked okay. It feels awful, but it worked. Just made a super light pink color. And then bringing it down my neck and wherever else I felt like it might show. And then I'm just setting it with the translucent powder yet again. Tons of it because it felt disgusting and goopy. So I wanted a ton of that powder on there just to dry it up. Now I'm using a highlighting brush to highlight my cheeks and T area or wherever you decide you wanted to highlight using a white sparkly color. And I'm just going to wait. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. go back. What the heck? Who holds a brush like that? <sighs> Moving on. I'm using a purple to contour and I'm just putting that where you usually contour, I guess. Just bringing it up the sides of my face, up my forehead, like that, make it smaller. And under my chin to help contrast my face from my neck. And it makes it look a little thinner, cool, huh? And then I decided I needed a little blush um, to add a little more pink in there because it was looking a little more white than pink. So I just put some nice pink blush right on my cheekles right there. And next I'm going to do my eyebrows. And I used a liquid lipstick. It's a matte lipstick. And I just put that on my eyebrows because it's the color I wanted. And I didn't have an eyebrow kit that was pink. So just use whatever you think will stay on your eyebrows. And is the color you want. I messed up a lot and I decided to keep it in because it's okay if you mess up. You can start over. Just take it off and try again. And yeah, they're definitely not sisters. They're distant cousins for me. <laughs> and I'm patting on some light pink to the front and a purple to the back to give it more of an ombre look. And now I am putting primer on my eyelid to help keep my makeup on. Now I'm just applying a white color to my eyelid for a base and then using this pink color in my crease. Make sure you blend it, girl. And I fudgy dud upped. This color was way, way too dark. <laughs> and I even tried to blend it out and like make it work, but it didn't, so I took it off. <laughs> Yet again, I messed up. It's okay. You can you can go over it. So I applied that pink again after I had put some more of the primer on. And I just blended it out. And then I took a lighter purple than that other color and put it in there. Even though it is darker than the pink, so it would darken the crease a little bit. But not so much. Okay, so now I'm taking a glitter glue and I'm just putting that all over my eyelid and then I'm putting a shimmery pink color over the top of that. And then in my corners of my eyes, I'm using a white as a highlight. Then I filmed this so bad and I'm so sorry, but all I did was a little winged eyeliner using a black liquid eyeliner. And I just winged out pretty far. 
and that's really about it but you can do whatever you want it really doesn't matter and then white under the eye if so your eyes look bigger now I'm just drying eyelash glue yet again you don't have to wear eyelashes if you don't want to it's a choice you can just put on some mascara if you feel like it and the eyelash glue is drying again so we're dancing dancing party dancing and it's over and then you can just put it on but it's a fun time and then I'm just using mascara to blend it in and I forgot to film the lips, sorry. Put on a wig, put on a crown, and you're ready to go. I have the crown tutorial up too if you haven't seen that. And there you are. So I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!